was today years old when I realized. What? 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 What didn't I realize? What am I missing? What? What? What didn't I realize? <laughs> Anyways, did you know in Iceland women could file for divorce if they were disappointed by the size of their husband's member? It was a law. The men had to be at least three inches while up it, 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 in order to marry. Luckily, I'll be all right in Iceland. I can give you three inches. Over two installments, though. <laughs> well, there you know. Cancer! If you do want to keep your semen to eat as a snack, why the fuck would I want to do that? Anyways, did you know Frankenstein's author, Mary Shelley, lost her virginity on her mother's grave? The fuck? She was fucked up, wasn't she? <laughs> well, now you know. Cancer! Fuck! I thought that kid was gonna get a face full of fanny for a second. <laughs> Anyways, did you know? Upon being made commander of the British Eighth Army in 1942, one of the first acts for General Barnard Montgomery was to reopen all the brothels in Egypt that his predecessors had closed. And he stated that my men absolutely require their horizontal refreshment. I'm not actually sure what that means, like horizontal refreshment. Beam in pussy. <laughs> well, now you know. Counter. Zero. <laughs> Shit. I could watch that all oh, fucking day. Uh, but I'm married and I love my wife, so obviously I wouldn't do that. Oh, I could. <laughs> Anyways, did you know the stethoscope was invented because a doctor was tired of being embarrassed because he kept having to put his ears on some big old titties. And he also didn't like the idea of coming in contact with these younger girls, which I respect. But you're a doctor, mate, you know, they don't care. But anyway, now you know. I mean, that didn't sound right. <laughs> well, now you know. Counter. I didn't even know they come in that size. What was that? Like, a large? <laughs> anyway, did you know the Mayans weren't very good at making alcohol? It tasted so bad that they would give themselves enemas using the alcohol so that they wouldn't have to drink it. Oh, and they also use like a mixture of psychoactive plants, but <laughs> hey, we've all done a lot worse to get a lot less drunk. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, now you know. Counter. <laughs> Fuck. That's a double backflip. <laughs> Anyways, did you know during the war, some armies would wipe their shit on the end of their spears so that when they stab someone or like slash someone, they would get like some extra bonus poison, bonus fucking points. I don't fucking know. But aren't you meant to know? I, I can't fucking know everything, can I? I just know the fucking, you know, like the headlines. That's what I know. Chat shit, get stabbed, fucking fuck you. Counter. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that would feel great on my bottle. <laughs> Anyways, did you know ancient Egypts believed that the god of creation birthed the world by masturbation and viewed it as a magical act? <laughs> well, there you know. Counter! I meet a girl who's 33 and single. I know the amount of dick that's been through her before yeah. me is just simply... Nah, that's just fucking experience. Why have a prude who's going to treat it like she's eating crisps individually one at a time from the packet when you can get a girl who's been around who's going to treat you like an all-you-can-fuck buffet? Anyway, did you know there used to be a parasite in ancient Egypt that caused the boys and the men to bleed through their slums? Apparently, it was so common amongst men that the ancient Egypts actually once thought that men had periods. <laughs> well, now you know. Counter! Always remember, keep your holes trimmed, they look cleaner, tidier, and it's easier to get it in. That's advice you ladies should live by. <laughs> Anyways, did you know? Now, I can't give you too much detail on this one, so don't fucking know it. But I do know that during the French Revolution, one lady who was sent to be hanged managed to escape death by showing everybody her tits. <laughs> yeah, well, now you know. Counter! Surely, she does not think that bra fits. I mean, I'm not complaining, but surely not. Anyways, did you know John R. Brinkley was an American doctor who would surgically implant goat's testicles into men's scrotums to cure impotence? Nobody knows why or if it fucking worked, but, well, now you know. Counter!